Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to the Retro Future. In front of me I have a fake Game Boy that cost me under five pounds from Amazon. Here it is right here on my phone, four pounds and 49 pence. It's by a brand called Fornia. Fornia. <laughs> I probably got that wrong. Uh, Fornia Mini Gamepad, classic handheld game console, portable, nostalgia, retro, black, rechargeable for kids, supports TV. <gasps> The branding, by the way, has to be some of the best I've ever seen. Look at this, 400 games for providing great gaming entertainment. Just have fun with it. Come on, just, just have fun with it. <laughs> Apple need to take a leaf out of their book. Just accept the fact that your phone will stop working after a year and just have fun with it. Handheld game console with three inch TFT HD screen, which is large and eye friendly. Brilliant, right enough of that. Let's open this thing up. I'm very excited retro game console built in 400 classic games Retro game support double player game classic game collection entertainment system 400 games 3 inch TFT screen Digital game system the color is slim the color is slim portable and trendy digital multi-platform device can play on TV. The backlit function of the screen ensure players can play everywhere. With powerful rechargeable battery pack includes an AC adapter and a lithium ion rechargeable battery, six hours of continuous gameplay. Made in China, three inch super wide LCD and we've got the red color. I don't remember choosing the red color. In fact, I don't remember choosing a color at all. So red it is apparently. <laughs> okay, here we go. Boom. Oh. That's a funny looking red. <laughs> did that, did I get that wrong? No, it's definitely got a tick next to red and it's black, but I'm not really that upset about that because the black looks really smart. Oh, that button's broken. That button is very broken. Right, let's set that to the side and take out the rest of the packaging. So we've got the lithium ion rechargeable battery here. This is gonna be a Nokia BL5C clone. Yes, lovely. Uh, we've also got a, m whoa, hello, prehistoric cable. We've got a mini USB, uh, haven't seen one of those in a while. And then we've got our AV um, out. I'll record a little bit of gameplay of that later on down, down the line in the video and we can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, fairly decent length. Always handy to have, I suppose, if you want to play a little bit of something on your TV. Okay, let's whack this battery in here then. I thought it had the support for the triple A's as well, but they've clearly just cut a little corner on that. Um, I mean, to be fair, it was four pounds and 49 pence. Please do not forget that at any point throughout this video. Four pounds and 49 pence. Honestly, more expensive to buy a burger from McDonald's. Okay, I'm gonna take off the nice screen protector. Fantastic. It just says Game Boys on the front there, which is exactly what you want. Now, we did actually look at one of these um, a little while back, but it was not £4.49, and this one feels far superior in terms of quality. Here it is actually next to an original Game Boy, and I think the mold is absolutely identical. Everything looks the same. Everything's in the exact same space. It's the same size. Um, on the bottom, we've obviously got the power switch there. Obviously, the mold's a little bit different, but it's it's pretty much the same. Definitely the same shape and size. We haven't got a headphone jack on the bottom. We have got our volume wheel there. Nothing down the side. Um, on the top, we've got our mini USB, our AV out, and it has got an accessory connector port. Not really sure why that's on there, but maybe it can actually still fit in Game Boy accessories and stuff. Obviously battery on the back and that's your lot. Um, it is a bit of a shame about this trigger button up here, the L trigger button, that is completely broken. Presumably though, if you did buy one of these, you'd be able to reach back out to Amazon and get another one. Okay, turning it on. We're off to an interesting start. This is definitely gonna be a Fami clone. Right, we've got Chinese or English. Here we go, English. Super Mario Bros, Mario 14, Super Mario Bros 3, Dr. Mario, Mario Bros, Turtle 1, Turtle Fighter, Contra. We're not gonna go through all 400, but if we skip to the end, Pac-Man, these are all different games. Those are all different games. Haven't seen any repeats yet. Okay, no, there we go. <laughs> We're right back in. So what's that, is that, that's 87 games. 
Um, so maybe there's a hundred actual unique games. Um, but yeah, you can see we're back to Super Mario Bros again. But I mean, a hundred games, there's still plenty of fun to be had here. That is for sure. Let's play a little bit of Super Mario Bros then and see how it runs. Because this is obviously the Don. This is the one that we care about. Okay. Now remember, £4.49. pence. It's shit. It's actually really not that bad at all. It's really not that bad. There's a couple of complaints. Definitely a couple of complaints. In terms of the actual ability that it has to emulate this game, it's not bad. I'm, I'm, something's letting something down. The screen is sort of got this like wiggling sort of property about it. Not really sure what that could be. Probably just some degree of screen tear, but I've never seen it wobbling like that. It's quite interesting. Now, my biggest complaint is the D-pad. It just goes down, you can see that there, it just goes down too far and your finger becomes completely flush with the uh, the unit itself, which is just not ideal. On the actual Game Boy, you know, it sticks, it sticks above it still, even when you're pressing it down. So the proudness of the D-pad is my biggest complaint, but the emulation is fine. The sound is fine, the speed is fine. I'm not quite sure what that little wobble is though. The wobble is not great. Hopefully you can see the wobble. But this is, this is perfectly playable. £4.49. pence. The screen as well is excellent. Super sharp, super crisp, great viewing angles, very vibrant colours. Right, let's see, what else have we got then? So, let's have a little look at... Ah, we haven't got any sort of Tetris on here. That is quite upsetting. Oh no, we have, we've got Tetris 2. Here we go. One player. Okay, ooh. Ah. It looks like that's some sort of like rapid fire button. That's interesting. Oh, maybe that's something to do with, maybe that's something to do with the L being broken. Not sure. That is gonna make this review slightly harder because obviously there is a button that is physically actually broken. Come on, can we get a, can we get a long piece, please? Can we get a long piece, please, please? Hey, happy days! Look at that. I've been practicing my Tetris skills recently. <laughs> oh, this is actually too much fun. Should we just sack off the review and just play a little bit of Tetris? Right, one more. Boom. Okay, right, I'm gonna turn that off. Look, this thing is too much fun for four pounds. I'm gonna plug it in now to my capture card and we'll see what the video out looks like. Well, yeah, I mean, that doesn't look that bad at all. You've got to remember this is £4.49. pence. It isn't perfect, but it's certainly a great way to play some games on your TV if you really want to. I would say it's probably not going to be the reason you're going to buy this. By the way, there's a tiny little reset button on the top of the device as well. Um, but yeah, the TV out isn't going to be the reason you're going to buy this. It's £4. It's, it's just the fact that it's £4. That is just, you can't go wrong. If you want to get back into some games, spend a little bit of money. Four pounds is not a huge risk. It's a great little buy. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to check it out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Sorry, it's a little bit of a short one. I'm working on some bigger stuff and I just need a bit more time. But thank you for all being patient and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye. Let me know what your thoughts are, by the way. They didn't even say that. I'd love to hear them. Bye.